hi! There's never been a more versatile and pretty way to send your happy or best wishes than with the Stampin' Up! Celebration Happy Wishes Stamp Set. Come and watch as I show you how to make my sweet card in Victorian colors. Welcome! I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 17 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So if Victorian colors aren't quite your thing, that's okay. After I'm done demonstrating how to make my Happy Wishes card, I'm going to show you the same card in some bright and cheery colors. Here's a closer view of the Celebration Happy Wishes stamp set. So many stamps, it takes two cases to hold them all. So what you do is you mix up the script words with either happy or best. So let me point out just a few of them. Just a lot of different combinations here. Okay, so you have happy birthday, happy anniversary. But then you could add um, wishing you a happy birthday anniversary. You make me so happy. Be happy. Um, over here, I love having a best friend like you. Best wishes. Happy for you. Lots and lots of ways to mix these up and such a pretty way to do that. And so um, we could look at these flowers. Aren't they really pretty? It wouldn't take very long to watercolor those because they're not very big. But that meant I needed to stamp them in a waterproof color or emboss. And I thought, boy, I, I want to do something different. And so we are. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of watercolor, just a watercolor wash. And because I'm doing that, I'm going to use the Whisper White Thick cardstock instead of the Whisper White. It's heavier than the Whisper White. And so it's going to be able to take the water better and not buckle nearly as badly. And, uh, and the Whisper White, well, it's designed to take ink for beautiful stamped images. Okay, so we've got that. And uh, we're going to start with a um, Sweet Sugar Plum. This is one of the 2016-2018 in colors. And it's being slated to retire. So um, you'll want to get your ink refills if you already have the pads. Make sure you get your ink refills and cardstock. Stock up on those. Uh, hopefully before the end of celebration. Uh, the retiring list will come out. They haven't announced it, but I expect it April 9th. Once that list comes out, in color refills, those things start to run out on us. All right, so what we're going to do to watercolor, I'm going to press down on the pad. I'm pressing the, the ink pad into the lid, so I'm going to push and flip and leave that open. So I've got all of that ink in the lid. So now I have my aqua painter love these things. So what I need to do is squeeze to get it going and I'm wearing my stamping sleeves so I don't have to hunt down a paper towel or anything like that. So I got it going and wiped it off in case I didn't clean it before I put it away. So I'm going to come over here and just pick up some color and when you get your aqua painters you get two sizes. I'm using the largest size. So what I'm going to do is just, there we go, swish some color on liking that perfect so we're done with this we're gonna go ahead and close and listen for that click because then you know it's closed and it won't dry out so the next color we're going to use is wild wasabi so before we do anything we need to clean our aqua painter so my stamping sleeves there we go and then i'll have a link under the blog post where you can look at picking up a pair of stamping sleeves for yourself okay and so again let's press down there we go Aha! So the first color, the one I'm demonstrating, the Victorian colors. Pick up that color and again, that's all we need to do. Easy, easy, easy. Great. All right, click. We are done. Let's clean this off. Let's put it away clean. It's good to go ahead and, and do that to get into that habit. All right, and so now what I want to do is stamp. I chose, we're going to do my card with best. All right, and so, but we're gonna wanna let that dry on there. So to save time, I already have one that is dry. And the color we're gonna use is Elegant Eggplant. Isn't this a pretty color combination? Well, wait till you see it stamped. And uh, and so if, if you'd like putting colors together, the in colors, some color combinations, I have my 2016, 2018 in color combinations ebook where I give you 10 color combinations for each of the in colors. So 50 color combinations for the 16, 18 in colors. And I also have uh, one for the 17, 19. I'll have a link under the video where you can look at it ordering that too. All right, so we wanna make sure it's good and covered. Oh, that looks really good. We're gonna come over here, just about the center. And let's hold it down a little bit extra long. 
that's a one solid stamp at best. And there we go. Isn't that a pretty combination? Really, really pleased with that. So what we're going to do next is die cut it with the um, Stitch Shapes Framelits dies. I've got my Big Shot die cutting machine and the magnetic platform. The magnetic platform is going to hold that framelit die in place for me so it doesn't shift while I'm die cutting it. So that's the start of our sandwich. And then we need a cutting pad and then our stamped cardstock. And I'm going to use this largest oval from the Stitch Shapes Framelit dies. You're really going to like the effect of this. So we're going to get an, a die cut oval, but we're also going to have all the little stitch marks around it. All right, so we want to make sure we get that centered. It's looking pretty good, huh? All right, and then another cutting pad finishes our sandwich. We just go ahead and crank that right through. And let me show you how well. See, it holds it in place, so it's still in the center. Oh, just where I wanted it. And do you see the stitching around there? Very, very cool. All right, we're not done with the big shot. We're going to do a little bit of embossing. So I need to change. I'm not going to use a magnetic platform. Instead, I'm going to use the big shot platform that comes with a big shot. There we go. And then for my sandwich, I need a cutting pad. And then I have my embossing folder right here, the garden trellis. We'll open that up. And I've got some wild wasabi cardstock. And I'll have a link to my blog post with this card uh, under the video with all the measurements and supplies for the card. All right, so the rest of our sandwich is another cutting pad. So when you get a Big Shot, you get the Big Shot platform and two cutting pads with it. And oh boy, getting to put a design in our cards, isn't that fabulous? Just love it about the Big Shot. We have just a little bit more stamping to do before we put the card together. So I have the Elegant Eggplant Classic Stampin' Pad again. Push, flip, and lock that into place. And I'm going to use Sending My Very Best. All right, so we need to add that. And we'll come up over here. Straight up and down. Oh, there we go. Isn't that nice? Love it. Isn't the watercolor wash really pretty? The funny thing is, you would think I'd want the flowers pink, and I tried the wild wasabi on the top and the sweet sugar plum on the bottom, but my eye kept preferring this. All right, and so now to put things together, we've got um, elegant eggplant for our card base. And then remember, we have our embossed cardstock. Now, whenever you have something embossed, this just doesn't lay as flat as it could. And so snail adhesive is really nice, but whenever I emboss anything, I need it to be extra strong. So I use the mini glue dots. So take them out of their container, peel it back so we can see them in the light. Here we go. Instead of one in each corner, I'm going to put a couple along the side too. And so I'm taking um, my project to the glue dots because I want to avoid touching them because so we want them to be extremely sticky. You know, if we touch something, it takes away the stickiness. Okay, so there we go. And put that right about here. So I'm centering um, from top to bottom and the sides from the left side, not both. <laughs> All right, that looks good. So now we'll press. And then, so um, because it's going to be touching on here and all that texture, we're going to continue with mini glue dots. And this isn't textured, so one in each corner will be fine. The texturing could sometimes makes it buckle a little bit, so I just want it to lay nice and flat. So now we're going to do kitty corner. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. And then I have another piece of elegant eggplant really like this color combination. Oh yeah, and I'm going to show you this in some bright colors too. To do that in just a bit. So our mini glue dots, there we go. So let's go ahead and then once I'm happy with the placement, that's when I press down. Let me turn this around. Okay, I want a little bit peeking out over here. And then we've got, you know, with all those nice layers, even though I have um, the elegant eggplant against that with the layer, it still stands out. Great. Okay. And then this will go on here. 
and we'll put that on with Stampin' Dimensionals to give it a lift. And uh, look what I have here. <clears throat> These are the Regal's enamel shapes. And I'm going to use, instead of the Elegant Eggplant, I'm going to use the Perfect Plum. Here we go. To add a little bit of color and some fun on here. Let's put one right about here. There we go. And so the, the tone is beautiful with this. And, it, and then, of course, it shows up better on the Perfect Plum than the Elegant Eggplant on the ele Elegant Eggplant. All right. And so these are self-adhesive. That's a beautiful thing. One more. And so I've got a couple different size dots here. Could use hearts, you know, depending who you're sending a card like this to, right? Oh, there we go. And so that's how easy our card is. Now, what I need to do is tie some of this beautiful organza ribbon or organdy i am let me think it is organza and this is from the occasions catalog but i love it so much i ran out i don't have enough to tie it all the way around and make a bow <laughs> so let me show you the finished card there we go isn't that pretty oh my goodness so what i forgot to tell you i told you the happy wishes is a celebration stamp set what that means is the only way to get this exclusive stamp set is for free with a purchase. And because this is such a big stamp set, this is free with a $100 purchase. And Celebration runs through March 31st, 2018 only. So you want to hurry up and get that. If you like this card and all the different possibilities to say happy or best, uh, prettier than ever, you'll want to make sure you do that before March 31st, 2018. All right, so there we have it in the Victorian colors. And then how about some bright and cheery colors? Same card. There we go. And this color combination, well, this uses the Flirty Flamingo, another one of the 2016, 2018 in colors that are retiring. And so this is one of the color combinations in my 2016, 2018 in colors e-combination, or 2016-2018 in color combinations ebook. There we go. That was a mouthful. <laughs> and didn't that turn out pretty like that? And so I had a hard time deciding which one I liked best. And so anyway, so two different cards, two different color combinations with the in colors and the beautiful Happy Wishes stamp set that's available only through March 31st. If you'd like to make my Happy Wishes card in Victorian or Bright and Cheery colors, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. But you need to hurry. Celebration ends March 31st, 2018. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.